Okay. What we're gonna be doing now is gonna select the model, import the model, separate the model into its parts from clothing and leaving only the mesh. First of all, let's grab the model. Let's grab this model. Import it from your file. We have the model here. First thing you want to do with your model is grab your mesh model, which is right here. It is converted into a Blender material settings if this model is going to be staying within Blender. If it's not, this is not the step you need. So with MD tools, come over here, select convert uh, to Blender. This will set all the materials into a Blender specific nodes. So it's, uh, they're more legible. Any transparency nodes that were for MMD are now visible and hence you see all these overlapping meshes that were hidden before. And this matter from us since we're going to be removing the clothing. If you want to edit the model, it is best to see the model is a quad geometry. So let's grab the model, go to edit mode, select a to select all, press Alt J, and this will set your triangle uh, polys into quads the best way Blender can figure out. For the most part, it works very well. From here, we're gonna be separating the materials from the. Uh, well, we're going to be grabbing the clothing and say taking it away. There's two ways to do that. If you want to be destructive with the model, it is just one click. And it is... Where in the hell is it? Convert. Right here. Separate by materials. So you click that one. And now, if you click on a specific material, that it is cut into pieces. This is quick and dirty in the way that it's also cut up your model's uh, body apart. And that creates some problems and down the line, some animations where you have a seam line that's uh, always like pointing out. So this particular method, I do not prefer. So let me undo, 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 undo. Let's see this, nope, still more. Undo, undo. Okay, so at this point, the model is back into being one solid object. My preferred way of doing it is uh, doing it more manual. So, grab your model, go to edit, and by pressing tap, you can see now we have editable mesh. We're gonna go, I need that one, we can close that. We're gonna go to our material settings, and it's best if you can actually read your materials. For instance, this model is perfect for that because you can actually read all the materials and they're nicely organized from bottom to top. So we're gonna select all the materials out of the clothing and we're gonna separate them into different pieces. Grab bottom, select material, select, select material, select. Keep doing that until you have all your clothing Select it the way you want to. Go up, 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 and here. For the most part, you want to keep it like the underwear and uh, bikinis, and for instance, and I'm gonna separate those individually. And I miss one, which is gonna be like uh, stockings. There. 
So once you have the clothing, you want to select as its own material settings. It could be just one or, for instance, the whole set. You press P and you want to separate by selection. So everything that's selected gets its own object. So you go out of uh, edit mode and now you have this object on its own. So you can toggle that on and off whenever you want. So let's press H, let's hide it, grab our model, and now let's separate the bikini part so it's its own object as well. From here, we go to edit and select the bikini top and bikini bottom. Press P and you separate those as well. Go up and now you have those on their own. You can hide them. And to unhide them, you can press Alt H and it will pop back in. But you also pop in a bunch of other crap that you don't want to. You can also come here to your uh, tree and toggle them back on. At this point, the final step that I like to do, I want to clean up this whole god awful mess that uh, you have here. You select your body, go over here in this little drop down, and remove unassigned materials or remove unassigned slots. This will get rid of any extra materials that are currently linked into this uh, mesh that no longer are needed. So instead of having this big ass list with all the material assets you have in your blend file, if you do this, only the necessary ones that are like needed for this object are included. So that makes it a whole lot easier to uh, adjust your materials later on instead of going to big ass list that there's nothing there. For instance, this one, there's going to be only like one or two material sets instead of we have this big ass list. Do the same thing, remove and use slots. And we have bikini top, bikini bottom. And no more other junk. You do the same thing to the clothing. And that cleans your selections. So it makes it a whole lot easier to edit and modify your model later on. So at this point, your model is ready to toggle on and off several options makes it easier and since we didn't fuck around with the weight paints or anything else the clothing are still following the model so you can have them clothed or not Alright, this concludes this little section and let's call it a night.